Hey, what's going on, everybody? You know who this is. I'm your host, Will, and welcome to another Macne production. And if you're new to my channel, Macne means Middle Aged Conservative Ninja Elephant. Now, some people have asked me, where did I get the name from? Okay, maybe one person asked me, where did I get the name from? And to that person, I'll tell you. Um, I'm kind of middle aged. I know it's hard to believe I look amazing for my age. Absolutely amazing. No makeup, you know, because I don't have to do the eyelashes and all that kind of stuff. I'm just naturally this fine, everybody. I mean, come on. Um, conservative, because I am a conservative. This is a conservative channel. I, um, and the Ninja Elephant, because I sneak up on you with my opinions from the right. Because when I sneak up on you, I'll be like, bam, I knock you out. Because you're like, whoa, this dude is pretty deep. He knows what he's talking about. So that's where I pretty much got the name from. Um, it's been a while since I've done a video. And the reason why is because I've been having a few health problems. And no, 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 no. It was not COVID. But um, some reoccurring things. And I uh, won't go into any detail. But I'm better. I'm doing, I'm doing much better now. Also, found out within the meantime that, I mean, me and my wife knew we were expecting a child, but we also found out we're having a baby boy. So we've been doing a lot of shopping and preparing for the new addition to our household. So that's taken up some time. And then while we were on our high from that, we found out that my uncle passed away, who is the oldest sibling of my mom. And uh, we were dealing with that. So a lot of stuff going on. And... I do apologize for the infrequency of the videos, but hey, you know what I mean? Life happens. And you know, something just hit me just now talking about that. I um, I looked at my analytics for my videos and I realized that maybe I might want to take the middle aged out because for some reason, do I mean, according to the analytics, only middle aged or approaching middle aged males are watching my videos. For some reason, no women are watching my videos. I mean, and come on, man. I'm like, I'm freaking like amazing. Look at the smile and the dimples. I mean, come on. I mean, nah, just joking, but about that stuff. I mean, no, I'm not joking about being handsome. I'm very handsome, but I'm just joking about the appeal that I should have to a lot of women because one thing, I am straight not transsexual. I don't do makeup tutorials. I'm not talking about hair and I'm not doing stupid practical jokes and I'm not some guy wearing skinny jeans and some stupid shirt with some DG or airwalk tennis shoes. I'm not one of those guys who do stupid, ridiculous videos about fluff and nothing, which seems to appeal to a lot more younger people as well as women for some reason. And so, thank God, this is not my livelihood and I don't depend on the revenue that I get from videos to pay my bills. I do these videos for me. But I digress. Let's get to the topic at hand. I missed out on a lot of stuff, everybody. Why I was gone, there was a lot of stuff going on. I mean, everything from the Washington Redskins today telling America that they're gonna change their name after years of telling the left to go fuck theyself, and now they're gonna do it. And I mean, I'm telling you, the George Floyd domino effect on these corporations has been drastic. I mean, unfreaking believable how many people have bend the knee to the progressive left because of the fear of Black Lives Matter and what they represent on Twitter and other social media platforms. It's absolutely mind boggling. I don't understand why they keep kowtowing. I mean, think about it. You're a billionaire. You got billions of dollars. You hold the line. These people can't hurt you. Now, you're going to say, well, they could take away their sponsorships and all this kind of stuff. If you play your cards right, which most conservatives and most corporations don't do, we don't play our cards right. And I'm going to get into that in a minute after I discuss this topic about how we're losing how conservatives are losing the cultural war and how Trump is losing this election. 
Now, yes, Trump is losing the election big time. We're going to talk about it in just a few minutes. But my last talk about this whole Washington Redskins thing, the Cleveland Indians are about to do the same thing because now I was saying to my wife, if the Washington Redskins fold, the Cleveland Indians will fold as well and other teams will go by the wayside as well. And it's going to be a never ending cycle. If you bend the knee to the left, you never get off your knees. All you find is something else in your mouth and you're gagging. That's what you find. You're going to be gagging on the BLM, BLM dick consistently if you bend the fucking knee. Quit giving in to these domestic terrorists. Jesus Christ, when are these people going to learn that an apology or trying to rectify some grievance that these people come up with never works? It never works because they just want more. Remember the whole thing with the gay marriage and all that kind of stuff, even when Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton, two stalwarts of the Democratic Party, were against gay marriage back in 08, 07, 08. Now, even I was like this, okay, may not be for gay marriage, but I'm definitely for civil unions. Reason why I was still for civil unions is because I believe if you pay taxes, you should be able to... Um, have the rights and privileges thereof that comes from being able to be a tax paying American citizen. So if you went down to City Hall and you got that piece of paper, then you should be able to do all the things that a married couple does. Where I drew the line, where I put a line in the sand and dared them to cross, which they probably they did, they they said, no, we want to be in the churches. We should get a Christian baker to bake us a cake or we should have be able to use a sanctuary in a Baptist church if we want to. That's where I draw the line. The state can recognize it, but churches and Christians and, re and re whether you're Hindu, Christian, Muslim, whatever your religion is, if you don't want to recognize it, then that should be where the line is drawn. You pay taxes as a gay person. Fine. Cool. Love you. Take your grown, do what you want to do, but draw the line there. That's where you draw the line. But no, due to Hollywood and their sneaky little asses, notice how Hollywood from Will and Grace on start putting in little pieces of gay people here, not little pieces of gay people, but gay character here, gay character there, trying to shame people into not adhering to their beliefs that some people believe that gayness is a sin. And I remember talking to a really liberal, progressive, good friend of mine. He's a he's a principal, a teacher. And I told and he's a big gay rights activist and all this kind of stuff. His cousins are all gay and everything. And I told him, I said, look, it's not going to stop here. Progressive never when they say they want something, it's always a lie. They always want something else. They're always going to keep trying to go. And I said, once they get gay marriage, they're not going to stop there. They're going to keep pushing for something else. Now that they could remember, gay marriage is supposed to be the end all of end all, the equality part. And as soon as they got that, boom, it was about transsexuals. Because it's never going to end with progressives. They always want to keep pushing. Even though transsexuals, I think, are 0.0001% of the population, look how much their influence has come. Gay people, look how, I mean, every show now has to have a gay character. Every show has to show how woke they are. There's a new movie on Netflix, The Old Guard. They even had a Muslim and a Christian guy who fought during the Crusades become gay lovers. I mean, wow. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing. And they keep pushing it and they're going to keep, 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 keep pushing it. Whether you want it in your homes, whether you want your kids exposed to it or not, they're going to keep pushing it. But, oh well. But that's how they do it. And and, and that's they just creep in. And I'm going to deal with that culture war part of it. But right now, I think more importantly, I want to talk about how Trump is losing the election. I'm going to spend another maybe two minutes on this because I realized that most people only watch my videos for about three minutes and 45 seconds. <laughs> but hey, I'm like I said, do these for me. Hopefully you like them too. But anyway, I'm sorry, Trumpers. I'm sorry, Trump supporters, but Trump is losing. And the reason why Trump is losing the election right now 
is because of three things. COVID. Yes, I know I'm not supposed to say COVID because all these other YouTubers are terrified of saying COVID-19. COVID and the hype. And that's what I'm now. Don't get me wrong. Excuse me. COVID does exist, but the hype behind it, for example, they keep talking about the cases, like 15,000 new cases in Florida. But what they tell you is that, yes, there might be new cases, but because people are being tested, that's one. And two, when you open up, everybody said there would be a risk. Now, remember, the real reason why we locked down everything was to flatten the curve. You've probably heard this on other videos, but I'll say it again. To flatten the curve means that we wouldn't overwhelm the health, the, the health uh, complex in our country. That's what it was all about. Not to cure it, but to make sure we didn't overwhelm the ICUs and the emergency rooms with COVID patients. And we never even really reached a crescendo of these patients just overwhelming our, our hospital system. It never happened. Remember, the the the, uh, the 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 medical ship in New York was never used. Then the the one in Central Park, the, the pop up hospital was never used. And what well, it should have been, because that's another video we're going to have to do, because you remember, <laughs> I'm going to say it. Cuomo was a murderer. His policies killed thousands and thousands of our elderly because he's such an I mean, Democrats are dirt ass evil, man, just evil. But COVID is one of the reasons why he's losing, because the hype of COVID has got people terrified, which means that they want to try to re-lock down. The lockdown hurt. The economy took a hit because Democrats in their Democratic propaganda wing, the mainstream media, made sure they were like, how do we stop Trump? And COVID from China was the gift that just keeps on giving. And they weaponized a fucking pandemic to destroy the president and stop his reelection. They weaponized a pandemic. How fucking evil do you got to be to weaponize a pandemic? I mean, because remember, if you're protesting, you don't get COVID. But if you go to church, you get COVID. You see, and, and the reason you, if you go to a pool or bar, I mean, you can have 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, 100,000 protesters with no masks on, shoulder to shoulder, and for some reason you're immune. But go to church, you're, 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 you're killing grandma. You're a piece of human trash because you don't care about nobody else. So that's one other reason why he's losing. Another reason why he's losing is he has bad people around him giving him bad advice. Just yesterday or over the weekend, Trump wore a mask. He wore a fucking mask. This man is the most tested man in the world. But he kowtowed and bent the knee. And what did I tell you earlier in this video? If you bend the knee, you're going to drop another knee. And when you're on both knees, that's when the progressive left put a dick in your mouth and they're going to make you gag on it. And they're not going to take it out after you say, please stop. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm, taking it out. I'm so sorry. They're not taking it out. They're going to make you gag on it till you suffocate and die. BLM, Antifa, progressive, they don't stop. They are communist domestic terrorists. Terrorists don't stop. Just ask anybody in Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, you name it, anywhere in the Middle East. Terrorists do not stop. That's another reason why he's losing. He just has really bad advice around him. And so now they're attacking him. Don't wear a mask, do wear a mask. He was going to lose either way, so just don't wear the mask. I'm pretty sure some milk toast rhino in his inner circle, some wolf in sheep's clover told him to do it, which is ridiculous and oh, just so dumb. The third reason why he's losing is because Trump is Trump. What worked from 2015 to 2016, the original, the original his first election, does not work now. The American people really are, and not even I, even as a supporter, am sick and tired of his pettiness. He's a petty man. He's a very, very petty dude. He tweets the most asinine and ridiculous stuff. It was cute at first. It's just like a little kid. A little kid is sing a song once and you'd be like, oh, that's so cute. 
And then the kid doesn't get it because he wants that attention. So he'll keep singing that same old song. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. And they'll keep singing the same damn song. If you got kids or if you've been around kids, you know what I'm talking about. Trump is that kid who doesn't realize that the shtick is old. What we need right now is your leadership and maturity. Fighting, doing dumb stuff with celebrities, tweeting about TV ratings, all you're doing is feeding the beast. That shit worked in 2016 because people didn't know you. They only heard the song the first time. Now we've heard the same old damn song over a thousand times, and it's time to change your stick. Go from a little teapot to maybe Mary had a little lamb. Just change it up, homie. You're losing because you don't know how to change. I know you're a 72-year-old man, but you got to change. You got to change the people around you, giving you better advice. What he should have been doing from the get-go a long, long time ago was dealing with the Charlottesville lie. I don't know how many times I can st stress that. The Charlottesville lie has killed him within the minority communities. If you don't what I mean, know what I mean by the Charlottesville lie is that Trump said that white supremacists, there was good people on both sides and he was referring to white supremacists. He never said that white supremacists were very fine people. Never said it. But the mainstream media took it, corroded it, and just mangled it and used it to bludgeon him to death within the black and brown communities. And he hasn't recovered since because his people didn't get on it right away. Trump has always been very inarticulate. He's never been the best speaker. He gives great speeches written by other people, but he delivers them terribly. Somebody got to tell him he needs to emote more because I've worked. Let me get a little, little real quick. I've worked on. I used to be a Democrat and I went to college. I got my degrees. I worked on Democratic campaigns because most of my degrees dealt with government and people. And I worked on campaigns. I've coached candidates and won a lot of campaigns and lost a few too, but won mostly. And I'm telling you, if I was advising Trump based on my professional um, career and, and my, my um, experience, he's losing because he doesn't adapt. You have to adapt. You have to be able to adapt on the fly. You have to be able to emote, especially right now when most people are being scared to death by the mainstream media. Now, I went way longer than I wanted to. I should have did two separate videos, but whatever. Um, in short, Trump has to learn because honestly, Trump is the only thing standing in between our country in a socialist communist state. The Democrats are not the Democrats of Bill Clinton. They're not even the Democrats of Barack Obama. These are socialist communists. These people hate you. Let me say that again. They hate you and they hate this country. There is no disputing that. YouTube hates this country. Twitter hates this country. Instagram loves booties and big titties, but hate this country. They hate you. They think that if you will love and respect your home, your country, because even what that's what if this is your home, how do you hate your home? This is where you were raised, where you were born in a hospital, went home with your mama or your mom and dad if you were lucky. You grew up, went to school here, you ate the food, you drank the water, you grew up here, you are an American, whether you like it or not, this is your home. This is not just your country, but your home. So at least respect and love your home. And Democrats don't even do that. Oh, well, we'll talk about that later. So. Thanks again for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to click subscribe, hit the little bell, show me some love. Tell me what you think in the comments. What do you think Trump should do to turn around 
his polling numbers. And don't tell me the 2016 crap because that doesn't fly here. These poll numbers may not be 100% correct, but they're not even, they're not wrong either. He's losing. So tell me in the comments what you think he should do to turn this around. And until next time, have a great day and a better tomorrow and keep knocking them out from the right.